Oh, hello everybody and I hope you are all excited as we all are here uh, and I hope you are all going to be buttoning up <laughs> uh, because we are going to look at the buttons um, a word something going on there and together Oh, oh, what's happening to my my technology there? Okay. For some reason, something is getting stuck there. Okay, right. so I think we are we're good now. Okay, so buttons, buttons, buttons. What are buttons all about? What is the button award all about? Now, first things first, we need to know what the requirements are. So take note of these requirements for you to have completed this, you need to number one, create and decorate a clothing button container. So what you are decorating is a container for containing buttons clothing buttons so you must create that container requirement number two is you must start you may not finish but you must at least start a collection of different types of buttons and you need to collect at least 50 buttons mm, that's a lot of collection there and number three you need to do at the one of these two things or you need to do both of them if you are excited and fired up, you, A, you need to decorate something with buttons, and B, you need to complete a button craft. Some of you are excellent crafts people there. And now number four, you need to do that P word. You know the P word? The P word is in the award. You need to play. Play, it's exciting. You gotta play the button, button, who has the button game? And then you're gonna be required to give a little report, ah, reporting, give a little report of how you played your game. And then requirement number five. On requirement number five, uh, you are to uh, have a trade night, button trade night. What is to trade? but you must do something called trading. You have a button trade night, and then you're gonna describe, report again, how you did the trading. And then finally, you are supposed to read and discuss Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. Let me see if I can improve my sound by using the mic maybe. Uh, maybe maybe this should, should improve my sound a little bit. I want everybody to make sure to be... Uh, don't want to miss a single thing from this. All right, let's go on now. Buttons, buttons. What are buttons used for? You can use buttons for fastening, mm, fasten things together. You can use buttons for decorating. Okay. You can use buttons for crafts. And guess what? There's a strange one. You can actually use buttons as containers. Wow, container? How? Wow. Well, let's have a look at it. That is a button. Can you tell? Did you tell that's a button? Believe it or not, it's a button. And it's got a little secret in it. You see, it's a container. You can actually open it up. And I wonder what it contains. Let's have a look. Ah, it's got a miniature compass in it. So <laughs> you can button yourself up. And when you go on your adventures and when you're getting lost there, you just unbutton and open up that button and bah, you got your compass and it can tell you where to go. Amazing container buttons. Well. Here is, uh, what are buttons made from, by the way? 
You have some buttons made from wood. You have some buttons made from metals like those golden ones there. They, they look pretty, they're expensive golden ones there. And you also have buttons made from plastic. Mm, there's some facts about buttons there. Well, that's not all. You actually have other buttons that are made from shells. Whoa. And some of the oldest known buttons, uh, people have found buttons that are dated to be maybe around 5,000 years old that are made from shells. But even today, they still make buttons from shells and they make them nice and beautiful like that goldy looking one there. It's made from shells. Mm. Well, so you'll enjoy uh, collecting buttons, different types of buttons, and you have fun. Well, requirement number one, you've got to create a container and decorate it. Create your own container, decorate it, and store your buttons inside it. Well, let's have a look at my, what I try to do with this one. Well, number one, I, I, I've got some ideas of how you could create this thing here. You might need to have an A4 paper. You might also need to have a ruler. Uh, you might also need to have a pencil. You might need to get some paint. Or you could get some coloring pens and you might also need some brushes. And then you need a container or you need to make a container. You can actually make your own container. And then lastly, oh, we'll also need to have some silicone glue. Mm, I wonder how that happens and how that all works. Well, this is how we started with mine. Instead of throwing away all the plastic containers that come home and filling the oceans with all the pollution of plastic, we can recycle some of those containers. We, like, we recycled that milk one there, washed it all up inside and out, and uh, it, it must have a, a lid, you know? Must have a lid so that when you keep your buttons, you don't lose them. Uh, once it's clean, and inside and out, then that's where your ruler comes in. Measure it up. See how tall it is. And then you take your piece of paper. You can use a colored paper or you can just use a plain white paper. And then once you've measured what is the same size as what you measured on your container, then you can cut that piece of paper with a pair of scissors. Mm, all right, let's see how it all comes up. Now, well, your A4 paper, I did say it can be colored or it can be plain white. And then you need to decorate your paper. That's where you come in with your decoration. Like, you know, I, I, I thought of the, the simplest brush that you could find in the home. So I took a little earbud, put it in the, in the paint, <laughs> And then dub 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 on the on the paper and produced some uh, pattern there. You might think it's a random pattern there, but I want to tell you, uh, once you've done your your your, your coloring there, uh, then you can cut the the paper where you measured it the size there, turn it upside down. Then you take your silicone glue. The, re the reason why I'm saying silicone glue is because silicone glue will stick to a lot of different materials, whether it's wood, whether it's plastic, whether it's fabric. So silicone glue is very good for, for that. So once you have done that, then you start sticking it around your container. Stick it on, stick it on, turn it around and stick it on and stick it on and at the end of the day, you have got a decorated container all round. I know you guys can produce a better pattern than me, way, way better. You guys will produce wonderful patterns there. So then you stick it on the container. Now, I told you this wasn't random. My container has got a name actually. 
I gave it a name, Spotted Hyena. So you see, he's got the spots of it, a hyena. So that's what uh, it's called, Spotted Hyena. So when I need my buttons, I run quickly and go and get Spotted Hyena and get my buttons from there and go and play my button button game. Well, you should also decorate the, the lead, you remember? And the lead for you to go decorate the lead, you don't want it written cultured milk on the lead. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you, you get your paper, you get a nice circle, which is the same size as that lead there. Then you can put your cover that, stick the glue again on, stick it on the lead. And after you stack it on the lead, you can then print your own photo. Wow, you know, this This is what I was looking like the other day. I was looking very yellow. So I tell that's my photo, <laughs> yellow photo there. I stuck it on the glue there. And now uh, Spotted Hyena has got my yellow picture on there. So you can put your beautiful picture on there. And that is your requirement done. Okay, guys, tell me, shall we uh, vote this name up or vote this name and give another name? So Spotted Hyena, do you like that name? Give us a thumbs up. And let's give uh, Uncle, uh, uh, he's done well to give that uh, uh, a button container a name. I think that is very <laughs> excellent. And so uh, you tell us uh, about that name, uh, if you, you like that name. Thank you, Uncle, for the name. Wow. Right, so that is requirement number one there. Well, requirement number two, one was very simple. And by the way, Pastor Dian is going to want to see your button containers. So when you have done them, you need to post them. To Pastor Dian will want to have a look at them. And Pastor NJ will be looking for the names. So <laughs> then requirement number two is you must collect at least 50 buttons. No, no, not the same buttons, all green and the same size. No, 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 a variety of buttons. So you have to collect them. But uh, ideally, when there is no COVID, we would ask you to collect them from your auntie, collect them from your nanny, collect them from your cousin, from all sorts of places. But now, because of COVID, in order for you to finish your, your, your awards for now, you can actually go and buy a couple of packets of buttons so that you can be able to proceed. Ask mommy to buy you some of, of, the, of these. Uh, Right. Also, what you can do is you can go online and find some pictures of nice buttons and print them out and put them on your folder so that it has got all sorts of different types of, of, of buttons on it. That is for that requirement number two. So you can, if you go into a shop to buy, you will find all sorts of different shades of buttons and then you can just select two of them, at least uh, whether if you like red or you like, if you like uh, uh, the purple ones, just select those two. And uh, uh, then you can store them in your container that you made. Great stuff. Right. And then you can take a picture and you can send it. All the details are on the screen. Um, uh, they will be showing on the chat. Uh, so dayan at adventist.uk. And so please send us uh, your email, I mean, uh, pictures of uh, the button containers that you have made. And I'm sure Uncle Vantle will be looking forward. Vantle will be really keen to see whether you made your own button container. So good one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, requirement number three has two bits to it. You can do the two of them, or you can just do only one of them. The first one is you must decorate with buttons. So use buttons for decoration. Like, look at that flamingo there. Somebody did that decoration with buttons. Nice. Can you imagine? Nice. Every little thing there is a button. So you also are going to do your own imaginative decorations using buttons. You don't, 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 don't make it too hard for yourself. 
uh, don't try the flamingo if it's too hard for you. Try something else that is much simpler, but complete it, complete it. So what you will need uh, is to, uh, one, you need to select a fabric that you want to decorate. For instance, Uncle B selected this little bag here on the right there said, ah, oh, this is going to be my bag that I'm, I want to, I want to decorate this and I want to use buttons to decorate it. Hmm. How am I going to do that? I wonder now you need to get some glue so that you can stick buttons on there. But if you are, there's a, a little bigger and you think you are a little more confident and, and your, your mom or your, 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 your sister can help you you can actually use needle and thread to sew the patterns onto that material mm. and decorate them. Mm. What do you guys think? Do you think you can decorate something with patterns? Okay, guys, there's a challenge for you to decorate with buttons. So we'll need to uh, see some of the things you have done with these buttons. So please make sure to take pictures and to send them to us so uh, we can put them up on our website. I think uncle is done well to actually, I can't wait to see how you decorated this one and what name you gave it. If not, we are going to look for a name, guys, to give to this. <laughs> yeah. Thing. We'll need a winning name for that one. <laughs> well, this is how you started. You can just pick start with many. Uh, start, start with maybe the white buttons. Pick one, two, three, four buttons and put them on there. If you don't stick them on, just put them on there and try them out. Once you've done the one, two, three, four white buttons, and let's pick some pink ones now and just put them around there and try to come up with a shape that you like. You know, no glue yet, no glue. And then uh, put some more buttons like the one on the right hand side, they add the green ones, add the green ones on, put a little, uh, the red ones there to put in, to look like some antennas there. It's beginning to look like a little butterfly, maybe. Mm, but if you if you don't like it, don't worry, just take it apart. Don't don't uh, don't stress over it. If you don't like it, take it apart and start afresh. You see this one there is, is falling apart on the left hand side there. <laughs> <laughs> The idea was falling apart. So don't be afraid to change your ideas and redo it. That's why you don't stick it on in the first instance. You only start sticking it on when you like the pattern. Now, when you like the pattern, this is my suggestion. If you think you've come up with a nice pattern there, then you take a picture of the pattern that you, before you move anything, before you move your buttons and your fabric, and before your sister or brother touches it and disturbs it, take a picture of it so that you can see how you had arranged your nice thing. Then you can pick the buttons one by one, pick it up, put some glue on it, then stick it back where you took it from, pick the next one, stick some little glue, just a little bit of glue on it, stick it where you took it from until you finish all of it. All right. Then let's have a look at what Uncle's bag looked like. Well, this is how I, you see, I took apart the other curry shape. It didn't quite work properly. So I started afresh and that's what I came up with finally. Oh, nice. Well, wow, that's my share bag there, you see? And I call it my share bag because I, I want to use it to shop for some items for to share with some homeless people. Nice. And uh, I want to share with others. If I if I buy a, a a gift for 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 Pastor NJ's birthday, when I go there, I'm gonna carry it in my share bag. Okay. And we can't wait I, for you to come, Uncle. Yeah, and Scotland <laughs> is the most beautiful country, so I must come out there. <laughs> so. Um, when I wake up in the morning and, and I'm about to rush to town and then I look at my share bag, 
you know what it will remind me of? Uh, and I see that beautiful thing. It's going to remind me that I have got to one, use buttons to close the gap between me and other people. Button up those wow. gaps. Wow. And when I see all the bright colors there, it's going to remind me that I need to brighten life, brighten other people's lives as well. So that's what my bag does to me. So that was your requirement number three A. You would have done your decoration. And then requirement number three B. Mm. It says, make a button craft, make a button craft. Right, this also requires you to be very imaginative to make the craft. You gotta be imaginative. What are you gonna imagine? Hmm. Well, select a piece of paper. A4 is fine. And then uh, you can also use uh, other materials, you know, I, I would suggest hard board, not, not, just, not just the flimsy paper, uh, the, the harder bit of, of board, which you can cut into shapes, like you can see, see the two shapes there. Uh, if you want to use yellow buttons, I suggest that you, you use a yellow pa pa uh, paper at the back. And there's a reason for that that I'm gonna share you with you. If you want to use, if you want to use red buttons, choose a, a color that matches that as well. And then you pick your shapes there and use this just as your stencils there and cut out uh, the shape that is favorite to you. We, we know we're not only go, we're not gonna do flamingos all of us. So you cut the one that you like. Well, I think I like the heart. Let's let's try the heart. Cut it properly, of course, bit by bit, and then you come to the uh, you you come up with your there is your, your your yellow figure there properly cut out, and you've got it, two shapes there. There, then ah, there is my yellow heart, and I like the yellow shade of buttons. I'm gonna do a craft out of them. Now. The first thing is you place the buttons on the on the on the, on your craft backboard. Start with the big ones. Uh, the reason why you should put the color that matches your shade is that once you put your button there, you want it blending those colors blending in there. You don't want green coming out behind yellow, or you don't want black coming. Then it shows all the the, the, the holes that you have left undone. That's why you need a, a paper color that matches your choice of button. So once you've started with the big ones, then the smaller ones are going to fill the gaps in between. Let's see how this went on. Well, you don't only put the big ones there, you remember that every button is important. All buttons are equal. Big ones, small ones, tiny little ones, and they can all work together. So you can take the small ones and start sticking them on top of the big ones. Even if they overlap a bit over the big one, that's fine because where they overlap, they are gonna close a gap that was left by the big one. So take your glue, take your glue stick them one by one, and then next, ah, you are sticking them on to your heart. That's more buttons and more buttons, sticking them on there. Firstly, like I said in the first one, put them on without sticking them onto the paper first so that you see whether you like it or not. Then put more buttons. Once you like them, stick them with glue. And remember, all buttons are equal. All buttons work together. And the more they work together, the better. Just like the adventurers, they work together. Well, after putting more and more buttons, this is what it started looking like. That's my button craft there. 
So once you've done it to, to your satisfaction and you think, that's beautiful, then you can leave the glue to dry. Don't disturb it, let the glue dry. And then you take a, a, a picture of it and take the picture of it and you stick it onto your folder and then you send it to your teacher. Uh, yeah, and get it ticked that you have completed it. Well, uncle, there's uh, guys who are just uh, wowed by your buttons uh, work and um, uh, the heart and the bag and they are sharing their wow here. So, uh, uncle, um, uh, do you have a name for the heart as well? No, uh, we, I think this guy needs to give to us. I just a name for this one. <laughs> oh, so what button name can we give to this heart, uh, to this button heart? Uh, let's see how creative you guys can go. Just suggest a name as we go, as we prepare to go for the uh, next uh, part of uncle's presentation so that we can uh, balance our time. But give us a name and we'll share some names with uncle and see which one uh he he likes best so keep typing keep putting them on the charts on facebook or here on zoom thank yeah. you yeah and so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna show you that the, the i'm gonna hold it up at the end so you see that it's a craft uh, at the end and when you're done with yours ah uh, past the d and can't wait to see your crafts made from patterns the other thing that you can do with your craft is you can put a frame on it. Frame it. Once you have framed it, you can even go imaginative and put your own signature on it. When you put the signature on it there, and then you can take photos of it again, put it in your folder, and then you can do a few things with it. You can send it as a gift to uh, uh, to, 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 to our presenter, you can give it as a gift to our birthday man. You, you remember the guy at the beginning? Uh, what was the name, Pastor NJ again? The guy at the beginning? The, the young man with the, the, the birthday. Oh, yes, that was Robin Ray. Robin Ray, you can also send it to Natalie and say, happy anniversary. She would love to get one of those nice ones. So you, you can share once you've done it, then you can make your own. The other idea you could do again as a, a nice sharing uh, adventure is that you can swap the crafts with somebody else who has made a different uh, uh, craft because we are sharing adventurers. We love each other, just like the buttons, button things together. Well, that was requirement number three done. And now for requirement number four. Oh, by the way, did anyone come up with a name for that hat buttons? Well, we do have some names and these are interesting. We've got butterfly button heart. Wow. Amuta. Amuta says butterfly button heart. And um, uh, Amuta also says a uh, butterfly Oh, that's the same one, actually. And then there's a heartily button, heartily wow. button. And then there's precious heart. So heartily button is by Isa Ngomonyati. And um, Darlene says precious heart. Wow. And we've got another name here that says, oh, there is precious that's been suggested. And um, uh, multiple button heart. You can wow. call it multiple button heart as well. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Well, we'll, 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 leave, we'll leave the judges to judge on, on the winning name there. <laughs> I know the winning name. The winning name is all of those names. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> they are all winning names. They're wonderful, excellent. wonderful. Well, requirement number four. Requirement number four. The P word has come. The P word. Play. This is what adventurers is so adventurous about. Playing. Play the button, button. Who has the button? Yeah, who has the button, guys? Well, today we are going to adapt this game a little bit. When when you do when you do the game in in I think I think let's let's do it in your club. 
or do it on your Zoom in your, as a club because of the COVID. Now we can't get in one room and play the game. Uh, we can do that later on when the COVID uh, uh, restrictions are over. We can do the original game. But for now, we can't keep you in suspense. So we've got to adapt the game a little bit so that you can play it in your club. And this is what we are going to do with it. Uh, so we are going to ask you to have a shirt, an adventurer uniform that is fully buttoned up. Before the game starts, you must have a shirt, not the one you are wearing. You must have a shirt on the side that is fully buttoned up. And then you've got to wait for the whistle. Has everybody got a, a, sh a, 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 a shirt nearby? We can do this one. We can do this one quickly. Anybody, everybody got a shirt? I've got my shirt nearby here. Got a shirt nearby. Mommy and sister, get them a shirt nearby. We're about, we about to start a game. Listen here while they get a shirt for you. Fully buttoned up. And then wait for the whistle. When the whistle goes, we are going to ask you to start to undo the buttons as quickly as possible. Because now we are to playing the button against the clock game. When the whistle goes, you start unbuttoning quickly. Then the next thing that you are going to do is once you've finished unbuttoning every button on the sleeves everywhere, when you finish that, uh, then you are going to go to your container. I remember the container with the buttons. You go into your container and you've got to find buttons that are the same number as buttons as the ones that are on the shirt that you just unbuttoned. If, the, if you've got 10 buttons on there, you've got to find 10 buttons in your container that are the same size with the buttons on your shirt. And you've got to do that quickly. Once you've found those, then you've got to put the the, the shirt back on and button it back up as quickly as possible. Put put the, the, the shirt on now or over the one that you have. Put it on quickly, button it up straight. Everything is going to be aligned. And then your counselor is going to record how much time you took to do that. And the quickest person there is the winner. Wow, that sounds very good. That was wow. a very lovely game. And so I look forward to hearing the stories from you guys uh, when you do play uh, this game. That would be very good uh, to hear how it went. Good, good. Well, so if past, Pastor, Pastor NJ, if at the end of this, we have got a few minutes, we're going to ask the adventurers to try it out and see how long it will take them to button up and, un and unbutton them. All right, so that is the game there. But when COVID is over, you're going to have to do the original game where you will be playing with other adventurers in the same room. Well, the other activity now is on requirement number five. Requirement number five. Now, this says you must have a button trade night. What that means is that you must take spotted hyena for me, because I've got spotted hyena. Remember what's inside spotted hyena? All my button collection. Take button spotted hyena and we go to Pastor Dion's house. Because we're going to be playing with Pastor against Pastor Dion and Pastor NJ and uh, Sister Natalie and everybody. We go to the same place and we are going to trade buttons. That means if I have got a lot of red buttons, but I don't have so many pink buttons, I'm going to be asking for people for pink buttons. And they'll say, no, uh, if you want to have my big pink button, you can give me your two little green ones because I want green ones. So that night, buttons are going to be traded and when we've traded the buttons, then we're going to use those many colors. That's why I said when you buy, just buy maybe two colors. Because the rest of the colors you're going to get from the trading with other people. 
then you can make good. a colorful craft. Yes, Pastor. I'm saying that sounds very good. And so that would be a night to look forward to. Yes. So that's going to be done. But if your club gets uh, a bit impatient and can't wait for the COVID to be over, uh, then we can adapt the game for the COVID situation. Guess what we can do with this during COVID time? We instead we're going to play a button trade week. We have a whole week to play. Wow, <laughs> adventurous! We can play all week. But what you do then with the button trade week is the first thing that I want you to do is to contact at least three other adventurers. You can contact four or five, but contact at least three of them. Okay, and tell them. Look, guys, I need buttons here. I need uh, red buttons. I need blue buttons, whatever color you need in order to complete your craft. When you've contacted them, then ask them for at least five buttons that you need, the colors that you need, and whether you want big ones or small ones. Then you've got to exchange buttons with them. When you tell them what you want, they are also going to ask you for five. So be prepared to send them the five buttons. So the next bit is that you are going to put your five buttons in one envelope, another five buttons in another envelope, another five buttons in a different envelope, and give that to mommy or daddy or uncle and say, please, can you post these? One to Sue, post these ones to uh, Guatemala. There was somebody from Guatemala, post this to Guatemala. I want to get buttons from Guatemala back. Then they can post them. And then you keep a record of what you asked for and who you asked, you posted them to. And then uh, when they come back to you, you also check that you have got everything that you asked for. That is the button trade. You have a week to, to do that. Or, may, or maybe maybe if a week is too small, you can increase the time a little bit. But that is the adapted game, trade game there for the requirement. Well, requirement. Uh, anybody with a question there on the button trade? Okay, guys, if you have any question for time, just type it on the chat. Uh, just uh, put your question on the chat and we'll try to uh, reply to it. So now we move on to our last requirement. Right. Requirement number six. Requirement number six says you must read Hebrews chapter 16, uh, chapter 13, verse 16, and discuss it. So at home, you can read it with your mommy and your daddy or your uncle, whoever, or in your club, you can read it and then discuss it. For instance, here's here some, 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 some questions that I have here. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16 uh, says here, uh, do, you want, do you want to pick one person to read that, Pastor? Do you want well, to pick an adventurer to read it? The problem would be the muting bit. So you okay, go all for right. it, Pastor, all right, uh, let's, Elder. All right, let's read it there. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16 says, do not neglect to do good and, and to share what you have. Uh, I'm going to repeat that. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. For such sacrifices are pleasing to God. That's all that you need to learn. That's all that you need to read and then memorize it. And then discuss it. For instance, here's some questions here that you can, you can answer on your, on your chat there. What is to neglect? You guys can start writing the answers there. What is to neglect? And if you remember somebody in the Bible that neglected something, you can write their name as well. 
Another question there could be, did you neglect something this week? What did you neglect this week? Another question could be for your discussion. Did you do something good this week? Because it says, do not forget to do good. Did you do something good this week or today? Well, then you can also name somebody. That is the Bible names as, yeah, this one, let's chat. Let's, let's write on the chat. One person, just name one person who is reported as being good in the Bible. So the on the chat? Good? do you guys want to tell us anyone who was reported as good in the Bible? Uh, just share that with us. So just put it down on the chat on Facebook. Uh, anybody you know who was reported as good. And then how do you feel when you share? How do you feel when somebody shares with you? Well, and finally, that was the last requirement. Finally, uh, just to remind you of the requirements. Number one, you need to create and decorate with buttons, or you need to create and uh, and 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 decorate a container for your buttons. And number two, you need to start a collection of a variety of buttons. Collect at least fifty. You can collect a lot more. And requirement number three, you need to do one of these two things. Decorate with buttons. Number two, complete a button craft. Then the fourth requirement is you need to, the P word, play, play. Play the button, button game. Button, button, who has the button game? And then describe how you played it. Number five, you need to have a button trade night, button trade. And finally, you need to read and discuss Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. Well, I'm gonna stop sharing now and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you my, 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 my little shape, my little shape basket there. Uh, let's stop sharing. Eh? <laughs> well, and what? there is wow. my basket. That's a nice, that's that, a that's, nice bag. That's, let, let, let me get the craft. Let me get the the, 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 the craft. While you're getting the craft, let me tell you that uh, Amuta said Noah was good, and Marquette told us that Jesus was good, while Colega told us that Job and um, Marquette also mentioned Joseph as those people who were good. And um, yeah, so those are the people who responded to your to your question and uh, very appreciating that uh, uncle for sharing that and now you're going to just show us and please do forward your pictures as well uncle to Dayan, uh, Dayan at Adventist uh, uh, dot uh, or oh, oh, is it dot UK just dot UK. Yeah, so please share. Oh, look at that heart. That is, that is the, the, the heart that uh, different people gave names, heartily button or precious heart or butterfly button heart. Uh, it looks very uh, nice, uncle. So well done. And boys and girls, what do we say to uncle? Interesting, uncle so Interesting somebody mentions butterfly. The next one I'm going to do is the big butterfly. Oh, there you go. And then put some one. buttons on it and decorate it. Thanks.